Hey, what's going on, good people? We are back with another Lux chat. What's happening? All right, so today I'm gonna try to make it quick. I say that all the time, and we'll just see how it go. All right. So I get asked two questions as a photographer. One question is, what kind of camera do I need to get? Second question is, how do I get in the business? So I wanted to focus today's chat on that second question. And we'll touch on that first one just a little bit. All right. But we want to talk about how to get in photography business. Got my little handy dandy notes right here. So if you see me looking over here, I'm just trying to keep track, uh, keep on track and make sure I get y'all up out of here. All right. So this is the way I see it. There's two things or two steps. So we're going to break this down into two parts. One, you have to know photography. And then two, you have to know business. They're not the same. There's two different things the photography side, and then the business side. Oftentimes you have photographers focusing so much on the photography that they lose sight of the business or don't even put any focus in that at all. And then they get frustrated. And then you start seeing people selling their stuff because they like, you know, it's too hard. They're not doing whatever, getting the clients and they're not what have you, you know what I'm saying? But if you put equal amount of effort on both sides of the house, then you can be more successful. So let's focus on that first part of knowing photography. So we're going to break that down into three steps. All right. And I'll put something on the screen so they keep you all going along with me. All right. So that first point is get a camera that will not take up all your savings that will not break the bank. All right. I'm not going to get specific in camera right now. All I'm going to say is get you a solid, decent camera that fits your budget. All right. Secondly, you want to start developing your skills and getting better at it. So some people self-taught, some people like myself took some classes. You need to know the basic fundamentals of photography, right? So that is where the key is. That is where your artistry comes from, understanding the art of photography. And then you can use any equipment once you have that. So think about it from a, a athlete's perspective, right? Basketball. You can sit here and learn the basic fundamentals of basketball. And once you get good at it, you can have just as good as a game in some Jordans as you can in some uh Walmart shoes. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The shoe or the equipment only enhances your skills. It doesn't give you the skills. Pause for effect. Let's say that one more time. Your equipment only enhances the skills. It doesn't give you the skills. You get what I mean? All right, cool. And that third thing in knowing photography, you want to be able to create your niche. All right. So when you're developing your skills, when you're learning the game, you want to sit here and shoot as much as possible. Go out there and shoot buildings, architecture, go out there and shoot landscape, gardens and things like that. Mountains, go shoot people, not literally shooting with the camera. You dig shoot people, do portraits, do models, do fashion, editorial, do events. You know what I'm saying? If somebody got a baby shower and you're invited to it, just say, hey, can I bring my camera? You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to shoot as much as possible and a variety of things so that you understand what it is that you like to do and that you don't like to do. You know what I mean? And one thing that I found when I did that, I wasn't trying to do weddings. You know, that wasn't my lane. And don't worry when it comes to creating a niche like that limits you. Some photographers, they want to do everything. Oh, I do headshots. I do events. I do portraits. I do weddings. I do food. I do pets. No, you don't. Jack of all trades, master of none. You know what I'm saying? You want to focus in on one thing or uh, a few things and specialize in that, right? Um, and there will be a market for you. There's a market for wedding photographers. There's a market for event photographers. Event photography is different from wedding photography. You know what I'm saying? Even though most people, when you say event photography, they think weddings. No, two different things, right? Some people focus on headshots. There will be somebody that comes to you for what it is that you offer. And prime example of that, I have a client that comes to me for event photography and portraits. Okay. When she was getting married, let's back up. I shot one of her events, her cookouts. It was a proposal. Her fiance proposed to her. And of course she needed a photographer for a wedding. I don't do weddings. She hired somebody else. 
That did not bother me not one bit because that's not my specialty. That's theirs. That's your special day. You want to make sure that you get that photography right. So she booked that photographer for her wedding. They did her engagement and her wedding and they did a great job on it. And then after that, she came back to me for what I do. When it was time for her birthday shoot, she came to me for that. When it was time for her birthday party, she came to me for that. So don't think just because your client goes somewhere else or you don't do something that your client needs and they go somewhere else that they're not coming back. They are as long as you have that relationship with them. All right. So now let's talk about knowing the business. So first up, we want to build a portfolio that will generate new clients, right? And that por- portfolio is gonna come from all that photography that you did, all the uh, shootings that you did, trying to figure out what your niche was, all the getting better at what your craft is, shooting constantly. You start to go in there and look at what are the best images based on the niche that you decided on and you put that in your portfolio. Second thing, you wanna build the brand. Building a brand is choosing a structure, do you want to be a sole prop, a LLC, or S Corp? Me personally, I decide I would recommend not S Corp. That is too much money to invest and too complicated, especially if it's just one photographer running that business. The better option would be a LLC. With the LLC, you can be a one member LLC and it'll separate your personal liabilities from your business liabilities. Now, sole prop. There's nothing wrong with that either. I know you hear people talk about LLC, LLC. You need to get a big LLC. You don't even have no LLC. You're not in business. Well, they can be in business. You can be a sole prop and that still is a business. So a sole proprietor and you're doing business as with a DBA or an assumed name. I did that for the first three years of my business. And then after that is when I changed the structure to a LLC. So Just figure out which one is better for you at that time. And guess what? You can change it later. All right. So further in building the brand, you want to choose the name of it. You want to choose the colors. You want to choose a tagline and different things like that that goes into the brand. Because you're a photographer, that means you're creative. So have fun with building your brand and make sure that it is something that you can rock with. The third and final thing is you want to get legit. Right. You, if you decided on an LLC, make sure you file it. Make sure you get you a business email address, get you a business phone number, then start building that business credit. You know what I mean? And then you want to start building your online presence and get out there and market and get new clients. All right. That was very high level. I'm impressed with myself. We stayed under 10 minutes. You dig? Um, But we can dive into more of these sections in different videos. Right. Because these topics we can talk about for hours. But I want to make sure this is short and sweet for y'all because I know y'all ain't about to watch no three hour video today. But, hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.